So I'm going to step you through the basics on how to use your e-bike functions. I'm going to demonstrate on this Focus Aventura 6.8. This runs on the Bosch Smart System and in particular it's got a Kiox 300 display. Any smart system bike operates the same way. I'm going to show you how to, how to turn it on and then what all these buttons mean and the, the key screens which I use. Functions that actually really help you with your riding over and above it being a normal bike. So if we just focus on the LED remote, to turn your bike on, this is your on and off switch here. And to turn it on, just tap it and you'll see it, it uh, boots up. It'll come on in the mode that it was on when you turned it off. So in this case, it's eco, which is the green mode and there's actually a lot of info just in this LED remote. It tells you how much battery you've got. So in this case, you've, we've got a, approximately 80% of battery. However, your Kiox 300 is very specific about what it tells you and you've got 87%. To change your power levels, probably the most important function on an e-bike, you've got the, the plus and the minus keys. If you hit the plus button, it's giving you more power. Similarly, to changing down your power modes, just click the minus button and you can change these modes at any time while you're riding, depending on the assistance that you need at the time. This particular bike has been programmed with ENTB mode and Tool Plus. With Bosch, you've got five different power modes and depending on what motor you're running, they're going to be called different things. And the great thing about the e-bike flow app, if you want to get into that, is that you can program your bike for the functions that you want. And you can even set how, what power levels you want in each of those ranges. Now you don't have to, bike works really great without it. Um, it is an extra functionality that you can get. Even if this display wasn't working, you can see what power mode you're in just through the colors. And if you do have a display and a Kiox display, the colors are going to match. On your plus button, you might be able to see, but there's a little light symbol. That is where you turn your lights on and off if your bike has lights. Just hold that and your lights will come on and it'll also tell you on your display that your lights have come on. The other really handy button to know about and it's the one that's on your minus key and you can see the little picture of a man walking. This is a, it's a tool to help you push the weight of the bike in those situations where for example you may have gotten into a creek or, or, or gone down somewhere steep and you need some help getting out of it or you're loaded up and you, you want to be able to push the bike. It allows the, the, mo the motor will propel the bike up to about six k's an hour under its own power, so it's taking the weight of the bike while you're just steering it. To activate this, you hold that minus key, and what happens is it gives you an instruction. So for as long as you're holding that minus key and you start walking the bike, you'll activate walk assist. And if you haven't started walking it, it'll just turn itself off. Also on this display, you've got a couple of other buttons. At the top you'll see arrows scrolling left or right. This gives you the option to scroll through the different screens which are on your display. Now in this case it's the Kiox 300. It works the same way for all of the displays, Purion 200, Intuvial 100, Kiox 500. Here are the scrolling buttons and you can scroll both ways through your Kiox and it gives, this is where you're accessing a lot of information. So you can see I'm getting into uh, riding data I'm into sort of how much range I've got with my bike and what percentage battery, so your battery stats. A favourite of mine is this screen here, um, power and cadence. Cadence is particularly useful for hill climbing, how much work you're doing yourself. So for example, if you're in turbo, if I was putting in 100 watts of power myself, the bike is giving me another 340% on top of that, really making me a very, very strong rider. This screen tells me what, what I'm getting to. The other handy screen here is your range predictions in each of your modes. Particularly useful for touring or for a long ride. Uh, at any point during the ride, if you're a little bit worried about what your battery range is going to be with the ride that you've got left, this can help you plan your ride. And if you keep going through, you can see that you've got more ride data and through to navigation. And navigation you'll access if you download and pair it up to the eBike Flow app. If you download the Bosch eBike Flow app, you, you're getting into the, um, some very, very smart functions like digital locking, the ability to be able to lock your battery is coming as well. The ability to be able to program each of these power modes in terms of take up of power. So I know mountain bikers in each of those modes make them very aggressive for certain situations, or you can dial it down depend if, you, if you're not the sort who likes aggressive power. So these are the what I think are the key functions of a Bosch smart system bike. This will give you a great range of functionality, help you in lots of different situations, 
and if you're inclined to get deeper into the software and the functions, you've got a world of playing at your fingertips and a huge amount of data and a lot of fun. <laughs>